welcome to a new video with me Richard Clements you uh, you find me sat in another car park God, I sound like a right dodgy geezer anyway yeah I'm sat in another car park in um, I'm in Tewkesbury today and I'm riding the January sale 200 kilometer Aldax so basically uh, what that involves is uh, we're just gonna go up uh, the A38 north of uh, Tewkesbury down through the sort of little villages Alongside the uh, motorway services, it uh, well, uh, and then um, sort of north up to Worcester, uh, a bit further north than Worcester uh, to the first control, and then we head east, uh, sort of uh, to the north of Redditch, and then eventually uh, the next control is at the M40 services, and then we climb up Edge Hill. And then uh, third control is at Chipping Norton. And then uh, we come back through the Cotswolds back to here to Tewkesbury to the Royal Hot Pole pub uh, for the finish. So, uh, yeah, that's what, what I'm doing today. I know uh, Mark, uh, the organiser, was um, saying that uh, he's got a full field of 100. Um, the weather forecast isn't too great until lunchtime, and then I think it's not got to be so bad after that. Just wondering what this guy's doing laps off of the car park. Um, yeah, so uh, it looks like there's going to be a fair few of us this morning. And um, my comment about the the weather was, uh, I wonder how many that uh, put, how many that will be put off by that weather. That's what I'm trying to get out. Um, obviously, I, I've not. I'm uh, I'm a nutter and like to go riding in the rain. Oh, it was uh, somebody to clean the toilets in the corner there, so that, that explains why they were doing laps. Um, yeah, so that's that's what we're uh, what I'm up to today, and uh, it's not too cold today. Yesterday morning it would have been a bit of a different uh, um, thing. It was uh, minus whatever, but today it's about seven degrees, so uh, it's only going to get a little bit warmer than that. So uh, it's not too bad. Put up with that. Anyway, speak to you in a bit. a bit of daylight so welcome to the first Audax 2022 so we're uh, not a long way from uh, Joy Twitch now having started in Tewkesbury we enjoyed a rather spectacular uh, tailwind so that's good unfortunately it won't be later we have headwind finish but never mind have it all. So, uh, yes, the rain has arrived. It's not too bad actually, but at least in a minute. Oh dear. Drawing twitch, uh, which wasn't too busy. It's nice. 
and uh, we've disappeared back into the veins again now just with this little group all having a lovely little shaft uh, I don't think it's that far to first control now about 40k yeah yeah it won't be far from that from the control a bit of a garden centre type place from memory Control number one done. Um, Chad is the Corbett, or as I like to know it, as Lonnie Corbett. Had a, as you will have seen, I had a bit of a bit of a breakfast in there, and I couldn't finish it all. But it was that much. But um, yeah, that should give me a bit of energy for a bit. Um, so now uh, we should have a bit more of a, a crosswind now for uh, for a fair few miles, probably the next 30 miles. To the uh, the next control and uh, yeah this is going to be a bit of a more busy road for a few miles into um, I forget the place up there now and uh, yeah the rain seems to have gone off a little bit so that's good I I kind of uh, hoped I would get here when the, the band of rain came through and that seems to have been the case it's just spit in now so I can put up with that um, yeah, so uh, I'll speak to you in a little while. I think that uh, uh, fry up was a good idea at the time, but now it's sitting a bit heavy. Just come up this little pitch out of uh, Bromsgrove, and oh my god, <laughs> I feel like I've got a football in my stomach. Oh, that's funny. And it'll be good when uh, that starts to. Uh, flow through the system I'm sure it'll make itself uh, worthwhile by then but at the moment <laughs> anyway the rain's coming on and off so I'm gonna keep going and I'll speak to you in a bit later oh you know joining me a few miles further on I'm uh, just going through Aspley Heath and uh, a few miles back just before uh, Redditch riding up this little climb and a uh, camper van came out from the right from a car park basically nearly hit me and uh, they stopped I just went round the front of it didn't think too much of it anyway about 100 yards further up the road the T-junction there where I had to turn right so uh, this, this camper van came up my left hand side as they were turning left whereas I was turning right and uh, it's an elderly lady driving and she goes, she said something and I just thought it was just abuse. Because you get that kind of thing all the time. Anyway, so she said it again, but louder so I could hear her. She was actually apologising. And uh, I just said, like, oh, no worries, don't worry about it. But, uh, you know, that takes a special kind of person to say, sorry, I made a mistake there. Did that, so fair play to her. Yeah, so anyway, we've uh, 
come through uh, the northern parts of uh, Redditch. Bioli, Bioli, Bioli. No, you pronounce it. Time up over there, and then that's where I've uh, just joined this lane, the top of the hill over there. And uh, yeah, it's quite nice to get on a bit of quieter road to be honest. Skirted round uh, Warwick uh, by a couple of miles, and uh, this is the. Uh, the B road between Warwick and Gaydon and um, yeah this is this road takes us all the way to the uh, the services basically we turn off left and then follow the little lane round into the back way into the, road, the motorway services the M40 uh, so what have we done so far oh 100 kilometers so we're halfway and uh, let's work that out just over five hours and I was in there in the uh, cafe for quite a while, so um, yeah, it's not bad going. Uh, yeah, the rain seems to have gone off. It, it came on quite heavy, and I was kind of like, I'm in an eye on whether to stop putting my rain jacket on, and I decided not to. And I perhaps, you know, in, in hindsight, that was a bit of a mistake. It's gone cold. Anyway. I'm going to make a move and I'll speak to you when I'm at the services. Control number two, just over halfway. This is the M40 services in Warwick on the safe bound uh, carriageway. We've come in through the, the back lane there to, uh, to get here. There are more salubrious uh, control points, but it does, does, does what it needs. So we're uh, just going to go in, get something to uh, get a receipt against and uh, crack on. It gets a bit more uh, grippy from now on. Um, it's definitely a, a backloaded ride with all the hills towards the, the end really. Probably fattens off a little bit with about 15 miles to go. Anyway, without further ado, let's go in and uh, do what we need to do. I'm a few miles down the road now from the uh, motorway services and uh, we've just climbed up a bit of a draggy climb uh, on the main road here. But uh, I thought I'd stop here just to show you the, uh, the entrance to the Aston Martin and Jaguar Land Rover uh, factory here at Gaydon. And um, yeah, so if you ever win the lottery and you decide you want to buy an Aston Martin, it will be built in there somewhere. Anyway, that, the rain stopped but the wind's picked up, so that's not good. I'm just um, a mile or so on further than the one I spoke to you before and uh, I needed to stop and you know do what you need to do in the hedge. Um, I'll show you uh, our first big time of the day. That's Edge Hill. I can't see the road from this point. I think uh, it goes up around the side of that sort of pointy bit and, uh, and then up over the ridge from there. Uh, we have now turned into the wind, so uh, it's going to be a bit of a slog now, probably right until, I don't know, probably by the time we get to the A38 nearly in Tewkesbury, so uh, it's going to be quite a long way, 50 odd miles into the wind, but you know, like I'm stuck here with all these trees, and uh, this gear is quite a bit of shelter to be honest, so hopefully, you know, there'll be quite a lot of uh, trees all the way back. I just realised it was broken in half that tree. Come down in the wind. Hang on, just do my hair. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. I've had a few people today actually uh, point a little bit of fun at me doing these videos, and it's great. I love banter like that. Yeah, no. Anyway, I could have picked a better place to have a, have a way at. I mean, uh, yeah, it's like a bleeding swamp. Anyway, I've uh, been putting the inevitable off. I've got to get up that hill. So uh, here goes. Well, that's Edge Hill uh, ticked off. I struggled my way up that. I am climbing so poorly at the moment. 
I've put so much weight on the last few months. So uh, I think I'm going to have to make a bit of an effort to get it off because uh, I, I, I'm using a, a lot of effort to get up at sort of something like that. And uh, it's just inefficient. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to have to go on a bit of a diet. Anyway, as you can see behind me, we're just going into the village that that is Edge Hill. And uh, we're kind of now entering the North Cotswolds. So, um, yeah, it's going to be pretty grippy from this point on. I remember uh, many years ago <laughs> riding a time trial up that hill on a time trial bike, you know, with uh, um, tri bars and uh, deep rims and a, and a big gear. And, uh, you know, I've done all right that day, but uh, I can't go up there like that now. The problem is my head still thinks I can and it, it doesn't work like that anymore. It's too old. Anyway, before I get too depressive, let's crack on. This is not too cold. You know, it is a bit breezy and then the old hefty shower comes through. So, uh, yeah, this is quite representative of the uh, terrain around here. It's all rolling hills. And it's going to be like this for the next 40 miles. <laughs> Some better climbing. Um, in the minute, the wind isn't too bad. Uh, we've done 70, 79 miles in past two. Join me now in the village of Hook Norton. Uh, Chipping Norton is probably about six miles away, if that. Yeah, six miles is probably about right. And uh, yeah, the uh, this is the Hook Norton, made famous by its its brewery. And uh, on that junction up there, uh, there, that's got Brewery Lane. So I'm assuming that it's up there. I've never been there, but uh, you know, one of those uh, to do things at some point. Um, here is the pub. I've come past here in the summer and it's absolutely packed with people. So, uh, you know, if you uh, see a lot of people at a place, you know it's pretty good. Anyway, Chipping Norton, here we come. I need a cup of tea. We're now in Chipping Norton at the final control, number three. And, uh, just put my bike on this, uh, this alley. I've never seen so many bikes here in, in one go. I thought I was miles behind, but uh, you know, if you stop and take do videos and stuff, then yeah. No. Anyway, let's see what I find. It's uh, now two minutes to four, and the light is obviously rapidly fading now. But uh, I had to light up it like quarter past three. Really depressing when it's like this. Anyway, we've got the the down, drop down, and then we go over that that ridge, and uh, we've probably got about uh, three or four like that uh, between here and the top of the hill over Winchcombe. Uh, once you're at the top of that hill, it's uh, you can free will almost to uh, Tewkesbury. Hiya, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, so um got about 31, 32 miles to go. Uh, about 50k. Anyway, let's get to a bit. If it made me chuckle. Somebody put a troll under the bridge on the right side. Oh dear.
still on the wold. Uh, we've got a, down this road here, got a bit of a big drop followed by a big, uh, we've got 40k to go now, so that's not too bad. So yeah, as I said, uh, we've got a big drop, um, followed by a bit of a, well, quite a good climb out of it. And then there's another drop and another climb after that. And then we ride along the ridge. Uh, there's a bit of a drop, and then there's a, a drag into uh, guiding power. And there's a drag out of guiding power, then there's a massive descent, and then uh, it's rolling after that. So, uh, yeah, we know there's 25 miles to go. It's probably, I don't know, 12 of that is uh, lumpy and the rest of it isn't too bad. Oh yeah. Hi. So, um, yeah, that's that's what, what's left. Uh, what time is it? Let's have a look. Oops. It's 20 to 5 now. Well, folks, that's another one uh, ticked off. I didn't do much filming um, after still on the wall because it was pitch black and you couldn't see anything anyway. So uh, I uh, did run out of steam a little bit and had to shovel some jelly babies in my drops, which uh, sorted me right out. So uh, anyway. Well, folks, as I was saying outside the pub there, you know, that's another one ticked off. First all that's of 2022 completed. Uh, yeah, that got cold at the end as well. I thought it was just me, but talking to the guys in the pub, you know, they, they all said that, yeah, they were finding the cold as well. So, uh, um, I think maybe, you know, we got a bit damp earlier in the, uh, in the week, in the day. And, um, you know everything's just damp I, when i took my socks and stuff off my they were they were damp and oh, well that kind of explains why it feels cold anyway uh that was a really good good ride it's just a shame it was a bit damp a bit gray and horrible all day really there was a little odd um uh bright spell i suppose you'd say but uh yeah i'm looking forward to doing one in the sunshine really it's, it feels like it's been a while and um yeah it got dark early and that sort of thing so uh yeah it, it's yeah well anyway it is what it is isn't it i suppose it is january the 8th so um yeah anyway if you made it this far thanks very much and uh i love it uh i've got the uh the ride down to uh broad chalk next weekend so uh down by salisbury there so uh you know, I'll uh, I'll uh, bring you along with me for that. That's a 200 that starts and finishes in Bristol. And um, I'm not sure what I'm doing the weekend after that. So uh, I'll play it by ear and depending on the weather and that kind of thing. Um, anyway, yeah, thanks very much. And I'll, I'll see you on the next one.